Hello everyone, this is Johannes. And this is Cinema. And you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And today we're taking a look at Skull Hollow. Which is a game published by Pencil First Games. And it's designed by Keith Mateka, Eduardo Baroff and Dustin Faust. It's a two-player game and it plays in about 40 minutes. So this is a two-player game, as you just Thank said. You for repeating <laughs> what repeating I said. That. In case somebody already <laughs> forgot it, yes. it's a game where the guardians of the forests are racing up and trying to kill all of the small foxes living in the village. Yes. Because they might be disrupting the nature. But actually, this game has a really great backstory, and all yeah. that. I'm not going to go into all that. But if you buy this game, you will get a great backstory and actually a great world building into this. Really nice. Yeah, that's back actually forth. quite impressive. It is. So in this game, you are um, playing as either the guardian or as the foxes that lives in the castle and the town outside of the castle. So what you will be doing is basically a card-driven game. You have different units. If you are the foxes, if you are the guardian, you only have yourself, like a huge miniature mm. that you're moving around on a board, and you will be playing cards. Depending on how many actions you have, you're playing an amount, the amount of cards. And the cards show you usually two different actions that you can choose from. So you will play a card, do one of the actions, and those actions can basically be move, attack, either melee or a ranged attack. You can leap if you are the foxes jumping up on the, the guardian and trying to attack him and destroy his different action abilities. And the, the, uh, different, uh, the different guardians have different actions, so we're not going to go into those. But basically, you will be moving around, attacking, trying to place your units in strategical, uh, strategical um, positions. Yeah, positions uh, on the really small map. It's a 3x3 three three map, so it's a super tight game where you place miniatures and trying to attack. And all the different guardians have different win conditions. And the foxes always just try to kill the guardian mm. because he's guarding them and he's doing it wrong, but trying to killing them. So that's what you're trying to do in the game. The player who first gets to their win condition is the winner of Skull Hollow. Yes. So rules. Rule book. Not the best transition we had. Oh, okay, uh, we have to practice. You just said rules. Rules. So it was so efficient. We have rule book. Ta da! This is a really beautiful rule book. Like as you, we're going to talk about in components soon. Everything in this game is just really great. It's thick and it's so great colors. This game is really colorful. Really nice looking combat game, basically. <laughs> great like great uh, examples. Everything looks amazing. The rules are easy to understand. You have all of the like basic actions and the, the game, way the game works first. And then you have at the back, you have all of the different uh, hero abilities that you can have. You have all of the different guardians that you can play so the rulebook stellar rulebook tells you how to play the game the game is as i said pretty basic you play a card and you do what the card says with some rules here and there but it's a pretty pretty easy game rules wise right yes i think so it's it's quite simple you just have to make the most of what you got so let's talk about artwork and components so you want to begin uh, it's it's just splendid it's nothing amazing. to complain about nope uh, great wooden tokens, mm -hmm. great uh, yeah looking cards, and also great components. So I'm 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 really happy with this. This is so well put together. Like from the insert, that actually works. Yeah. <laughs> all of the different guardians have their own tuck box, which all the components go inside. Mm -hmm. The foxes have a tuck box. Then you have a little space for all of the common components. It's just so great. Like if you want to play that guardian, you just pick it up, open it up, dump it on tape. And you're ready to go. Yeah. And it's a small map and it looks just amazing. Every artwork is great. It's colorful. It really makes me live this theme. It really makes me go into like this world. Mm. I really enjoy the artwork. It's like, it's, it's really strange because it's basically a, a, a combat fighting game. It's like such a whimsical, beautiful artwork. Yeah, it feel, it's more like cartoonish, but uh -huh. the, the guardians that are like this animal shapes of nature, it yes. basically looks really like, um, I don't know, monstrous, but mm -hmm. still like really cool. And they are, as you said, they're really great. They're made as they are part of nature. Yeah. So they're kind of made of, out of nature. Leaves which is and stones and Really, stuff. really great. And what makes this cool is that it makes it really family friendly as well. Yeah. Because if you like want to play like a dual game with, uh, with your, your family, this is perfect because you have this, the, the, the art style is what it is. This could have been like the same game. Could have been like a Colossus game, like yeah. Shadow of the Colossus, like Blood the and gore, huge and know. bloody and adult. But this is really, really nice. Mm. And it makes it kind of, yeah, it's, it's a nice 
the theme is good here and it's really well implemented into the the artwork and just everything looks beautiful basically yeah nothing it bad feels to really say. good as well i really like the game like the gameplay mm -hmm. it's it's pretty simple rules wise but but you're always on the edge like oh i need that one more action and mm -hmm. i don't i haven't got it <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it's really really good the gameplay here is basically um, almost amazing, right? Because as you said, it's so simple and it feels really different to play the, the heroes to, and the, mm. the guardians. And depending on which uh, uh, hero, like which king or queen you're playing, you have different special abilities and all of the guardians play really differently because mm. they have all different actions. And it's just a really well put together game. Yes, I, I think what is really cool is uh, being the guardian, you mm -hmm. really have to uh, you have this and this much card to heal yourself mm. and when you take some damage uh, depending on what uh, places you've taken the damage you can't do some of your abilities mm. so you're, you're losing your actions basically mm -hmm. so um, when I really want to stomp on you I maybe can't do that because <laughs> you've broken my st stomping parts I don't know so then I have to use my one of my precious two actions that's that's not a lot to heal that part so then I can stomp at you mm -hmm. and I have to do it this round or then you go and kill my stomping <laughs> things again that's so annoying mm -hmm. but it's so cool and then we have power that you can save up mm -hmm. and basically use as more actions on that turn so that it, timing here is a huge deal I feel like yeah absolutely I, I feel like as we said like the what makes this work is that it's really it's a shorter kind of like head-to-head -head game mm. and it also is really tight yeah. it feels like it's turning around from it feels like in the beginning it's going to be impossible for like the foxes but then you might get like the upper hand by by destroying some of the the different actions that you can't do them and you feel like you're getting it but then you might heal and you might throw all my guys off of you and destroy them and it's just like it feels like it's really back and forth it feels very well balanced for me yes it feels like that too you won all of the times we played but it's been really close. Mm -hmm. It's like comes down to one turn or yeah. one action. I feel like if you hadn't like killed me in that round, I mm -hmm. would have gotten mm -hmm. you the next. Mm -hmm. And I, I like those kind of games. You feel like you, um, yeah, the way we played, we've never experienced that one is just like have the upper hand at all no, times. No, there's a steam rolling over the other ones. Yes. No. Mm. And that makes this game like these these kind of games have to be that to be interesting. Yes. Because if if it felt like the garden is always winning or the the foxes is always winning it wouldn't be as interesting or it will be like if this one is so much harder to play than the other one i also like that they're kind of like difficulty ratings mm. so some of the guardians are harder to play and some of the hero abilities are harder to play with mm. i think like it's uh, like like in, at the ground level it's going to be harder to play the guardian because it's kind of more specialized with different actions that you have to understand yeah. how that garden the guardian wants to play yeah uh, but it's, it's really fun to play both sides and there's a lot of variability here because there's, there's so much four guardians and four uh, kind of kings and queens yeah and you have to attack each guardian in a different way mm -hmm. and when you're playing the guardian you have to act in a certain way as well and it's cool just having me play the one hero and you're playing the one guardian and mm -hmm. switching that is cool in itself yeah. and then also mixing and matching and doing stuff mm -hmm. so so usually you you don't like a, you're not a huge fan of these kind of games no i usually don't like them because i'm so bad at them yeah and also you like always you've never been a great fan of these like attacking games yeah because you'd rather just have resources and have fun with resources yeah but what do you think like do you feel like this uh, you, you get kind of the same feeling here or do you feel like this is different? Mm, I don't know. I just like it, I guess. <laughs> I, I still feel like there is more to see in this game and mm -hmm. that's what I also like about it. That it has so many things that you have to uh, can explore mm -hmm. before you have exhausted it. I don't know. So I feel like... Uh, and I'm not good at this game yet, but I feel like I could be because mm. I'm so close each time and give, <laughs> that gives me like the motivation to be better and at beat it. me one yes. time and then we'll never play it again because you, you, you will be happy then yes uh, i it just clicked with me mm -hmm. i don't know exactly what it was but it doesn't drag on too long either so no, that, it, that's nice it's just a perfect weight like it's really simple rules but there's enough depth and you you kind of like you have of course the there is some luck here like that's basically like if you 
there are times where you will be like, oh no, I can do it, but I need a card, and you don't get the card. Yes. You can do like a planning action where you discard a card and draw cards. That's kind of like the only thing that, it, it doesn't bother me here because it's like a shorter game, but it is one of those things where you feel like, oh, I'm set up perfectly, and I don't draw the card I need. That's kind of like the, the only kind of negative thing I can say about the game. Yes, there is some luck here, and uh, I have to be straight and fair to, to say that Sometimes I feel like I have lost because of the luck of the draw. Mm -hmm. But then you kind of set yourself up to being dependent on that one card. Yeah. And that's not good either. So I think if you get good at this game, you're not that dependent on a certain mm -hmm. card either. Mm -hmm. And you can use some actions to get uh, the power. And that is just like trading an action now for an action later that you're mm -hmm. not dependent on the card to do. Mm -hmm. So I, I like that. That mitigates the luck a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and, and when you're playing the heroes or the, 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 the foxes, yes. then like some of the heroes can use power and some cannot use power because they have different spots for them. Mm. So that's also interesting. You can like build up some character to be able to do a huge move if they don't get killed first because if they have a lot of power, then they're going to be a huge target for getting yes. killed. So it's like there's a lot of great stuff and it just works well together. I think for me, the only kind of negative thing is that Luck of the draw, but as you say, there yes. are ways to mitigate it, especially with the, the power cubes. Yes. Is there anything else you don't like about the game? Mm, no, I, actually, I, I like it all. I, I feel like it's well enough balanced mm -hmm. to win uh, with each of the sides and each of the monsters. I, I think uh, it's well balanced that um, it has like this taunt thing with the hero um, mm -hmm. yeah. fox that you can't just uh, ignore, your, you can, but it's harder to ignore your um, goal as a guardian and mm -hmm. just kill, because you can win by killing the fox hero too, yeah. but that is hard. So it makes you kind of have to go for the special ability. For the special uh, win yeah, condition, yeah. yeah. You don't have to, but it's it's recommended. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, is. it depends on how the other player is playing, of course. Yes, but, uh, absolutely. So should we do some final thoughts? Yeah. Do you want to start? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Final thoughts time for Skull Call of Two Player Game. Boom, go. I'm surprisingly happy about this game. Usually when we get this like two player head to head mm -hmm. games to review, I'm not that happy about it. Because I usually don't like them as much. Yeah, but I'm li I like this. Yay. <laughs> and. I already mentioned the things I like and I think it's really cool that it looks so good, it works so well, it's solid and you can play it like an infinite number of times until infinite. you get bored, I don't know, yes. <laughs> I'm going to rate it an 8, awesome. I really like this game. So yeah, I was surprised by this, like it looked really beautiful but, but as you say like, especially when, when, when I know you don't kind of like these kind of games but it looks so great so when you got a chance to review it. I wanted to play it and I was really happy with it. We have said everything we liked about it. I'm going to give it an 8 as well because it is a superb two-player game. So if you're looking for a two-player game and you like these kind of head-to-head -head games or maybe even if you don't because this feels different enough and it's short enough so it, it doesn't like, it's not going to be a three-hour long game if you feel like, oh, I'm going to lose. It feels like a back and forth is really balanced and it feels just like a great weight level and, and the, the time take to play and the variability makes it a great package. Yes. So that's it. It That's is. the end of another video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. And I'm Sonoma. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And bye bye.